Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will look at 25 MCQs from American literature. These MCQs are very important for any competitive exams in English. And the most important thing is that I have added brief description with each of these MCQs. So if you read even a single MCQ, then you will cover 3 to 4 MCQs related to it. So watch this video till the end and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you can get every notifications of my upcoming videos. Now without doing further delay let's look at these MCQs. First question is which novel by F. Scott Fitzgerald explores the themes of wealth, love and the American dream? Option A. The Great Gatsby B. To Kill a Mockingbird C. Moby Dick D. The Catcher in the Rye the correct answer here is option A, The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby is a classical novel set in Long Island in 1920s. The novel explores themes of love, wealth, power, social status and the illusion of the American dream. Second, which poet is associated with the Harlem Renaissance, an important cultural movement of the 1920s? Option A, Langston Hughes, B, Maya Angelou, C, Harper Lee. D. Gwendolyn Brooks Here the correct answer is option A. Langston Hughes Langston Hughes is one of the central figures of the Harlem Renaissance, a period of artistic and intellectual flourishing among African Americans in Harlem, New York. His poetry celebrates black identity, explores racial pride and highlights the struggles faced by African Americans in a racially divided society. Third, which American writer is associated with the concept of transcendentalism? Option A. Edgar Allan Poe B. Henry David Thoreau C. Emily Dickinson D. Walt Whitman Correct answer here is option B. Henry David Thoreau Henry David Thoreau was an American writer and philosopher closely associated with the transcendentalist movement. Transcendentalism is an American literary, philosophical, political and religious movement of the early 19th century, which lasted from about 1830 to 1860. Ralph Waldo Emerson was the primary practitioner of the movement. Second was Henry David Thoreau. He is best known for his book Walden, in which he reflects on simple living in natural surroundings and explores ideas of self-reliance and spiritual connection with nature. Fourth question, which American poet is associated with the transcendentalist movement and wrote the famous poem Song of Myself? Option A. Emily Dickinson B. Langston Hughes C. Walt Whitman D. Sylvia Plath and the correct answer here is option C, Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman was a prominent poet associated with the transcendentalist movement. His epic poem Song of Myself is a celebration of the self and explores themes of democracy, nature and the interconnectedness of all beings. Question 5. Who is the author of the play Death of a Salesman, which portrays the life of a disillusioned salesman named Willie Loman. Option A. Arthur Miller B. Tennessee Williams C. Eugene O'Neill D. Walt Whitman And the correct answer here is Option A. Arthur Miller Arthur Miller wrote the play Death of Salesman, first performed in 1949. It is a critique of the American dream and explores themes of identity, success and the human condition. Question 6. Which American poet is known for his innovative and unconventional style, characterized by short lines and unconventional punctuation and wrote the collection Ariel? Option A. Emily Dickinson B. Sylvia Plath C. Maya Angelou D. Robert Frost The correct answer here is option B. Sylvia Plath is known for her confessional poetry. Her work often deals with themes of mental illness, feminism and personal struggles. Question 7. Which American poet wrote The Raven? Option A. Emily Dickinson B. Robert Frost C. Langston Hughes D. Edgar Allan Poe 
Here the correct answer is option D. Edgar Allan Poe. The Raven is one of his most famous poems, published in 1845, known for its dark and haunting atmosphere. Question eighth: Which American poet authored Leaves of Grass? Option A. Emily Dickinson. B. Ralph Waldo Emerson. C. Walt Whitman. D. Sylvia Plath. The correct answer is option C. Walt Whitman. Leaves of Grass is a collection of poems written by Whitman and first published in 1855, celebrating democracy, nature, and the human spirit. Question nine: Which American author wrote the novel Moby Dick? Option A. Herman Melville. B. Nathaniel Hawthorne. C. Walt Whitman. D. Mark Twain. The correct answer is option A. Herman Melville. Moby Dick, published in 1851, is a complex and a symbolic novel that follows Captain Ahab's obsessive pursuit of a white whale. Question tenth: Who is the author of the novel To Kill a Mockingbird? Option A. Mark Twain. B. F. Scott Fitzgerald. C. Harper Lee. D. John Steinbeck. Here the correct answer is option C. Harper Lee wrote the Pulitzer Prize-winning novel To Kill a Mockingbird, published in 1860. It is a classical American novel that addresses themes of racism, or racial injustice, and moral growth through the eyes of the young protagonist Scout Finch. Question 11th: In which of the following travel books does Mark Twain give an account of his visit to India? Option A: A Tramp Abroad. B: Roughing It. C the innocent abroad D following the equator and the correct answer is option D following the equator is a travel log which was published by Mark Twain in 1897 it is a non fictional social commentary question 12 what is the central theme of whitman's famous poem passage to india option a advancement of science b intercontinental contacts C spirituality and transcendentalism D glory of america Here the correct answer is option C spirituality and transcendentalism Passage to India is a poetry collection published by Walt Whitman in 1871 This poem has 9 sections Question 13 Which one is a great patriotic poem by Robert Frost A mending wall B birches C the gift outright D directive Here the correct answer is option C the gift outright The gift outright is a patriotic poem deals with the national sentiments and pride of Americans Question 14 Which of the following novels of Hemingway is set against the background of the Spanish Civil War Option A the sun also rises B for whom the bell tolls C a farewell to arms D the old man and the sea And the correct answer here is option B for whom the bell tolls It was first published in 1940 It tells the story of Robert Jordan an young American explosives expert attached to a Republican guerrilla unit during the Spanish Civil War Question 15 What was the original title of the play Emperor Jones Option A the silver bullet B the indies C the escape D the emperor brutus And the correct answer here is option A the silver bullet Emperor Jones is a 1920 tragic play by Eugene O'Neill that tells the tale of a Brutus Jones an African American who kills another black man in a dice game Question 16 Which of the plays in its preface was described by Eugene O'Neill as a play of old sorrow written in tears and blood Option A Desire under the elms B The hairy ape C Long day's journey into night D Morning becomes Electra Here the correct answer is option C Long day's journey into night It is a play in four acts and was first published posthumously in 1956. The play is autobiographical and widely regarded as his magnum opus. 17. Who says earth is the right place for love? 
ए सिल्विया प्लाथ बी लैंगस्टन ह्यूज सी वैलस स्टीवेंस डी रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट सेज दिस लाइन इन इस पोएम बर्चेस क्वेश्चन 18 द न्यू ह्यूमेनिज्म स्कूल ऑफ फिलोसफी एंड लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिज्म वाज पॉपुलर इन अमेरिका ड्यूरिंग ऑप्शन ए 1920-1940 बी 1910-1930 सी 1930-1940 डी 1900-1910 हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी 1910-1930 New humanism was a critical movement in the United States between 1910 and 1930. It was based on the literary and social theories of the English poet and critic Matthew Arnold. Question 19: Which of the American novelist is associated with the series of five books about Natty Bumpo, an old hunter, also called Leather Stocking? Option A: Stephen Crane. B: James Fenimore Cooper. C Jack London D Herman Melville And the correct answer here is option B James Fenimore Cooper The Leather Stocking Tales is a series of 5 novels by American writer James Fenimore Cooper This series of 5 novels was published between 1823 and 1841 Question 20 Bob Smith is the central figure in which of the following plays of Eugene O'Neill Option A The Ice Man Cometh B The Farewell to Arms C The Hairy Ape D None of the Above The correct answer here is option C The Hairy Ape The Hairy Ape is a dramatic play divided into 8 scenes first performed in 1922 The play is based on the industrialization of the worker and the protagonist Bob Smith's hunt for his own identity as he degenerates into an ape-like being. Question 21: Which American writer won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954? Option A: Ernest Hemingway. B: John Steinbeck. C: William Faulkner. D: Sinclair Lewis. And the correct answer here is option A. Ernest Hemingway was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1954. for his influential and uh, innovative writing style that captured the essence of the lost generation question 22 who is the author of the novel the scarlet letter option a rolf waldo emerson b henry david thoreau c emily dickinson d nathaniel hawthorne the correct answer is option d nathaniel hawthorne The Scarlet Letter is a classical American novel set in Puritan New England and explores themes of sin, guilt and redemption. Question 23 The novel The Great Gatsby is set in which US city? Option A New York City, B Chicago, C Los Angeles, D Boston. And the correct answer is option A. The Great Gatsby is a novel written by F. Scott Fitzgerald and published in 1925. It is set in the vibrant and wealthy world of Long Island, New York. The novel explores themes of wealth, love, and the American dream. Question 24: Who made the comment that all modern American literature comes from one book by Mark Twain called Huckleberry Finn? A. Henry James. B. William Faulkner. C Ernest Hemingway D Jack London And the correct answer here is option C Ernest Hemingway Question 25 How many poems appeared in 1855 version of Leaves of Grass Option A 12 C 20 B 16 D 25 And the correct answer here is option A 12 Leaves of Grass is a collection of poetry by American author Walt Whitman. First grouped by 12 poems was published anonymously in 1855. It was followed by five revised and three reused editions. Thank you for watching this video.